All right, and good morning to you. It's a beautiful day here in Middle Tennessee on the ranch. And today I read Luke 9. The last part of Luke 9 is about prejudice. An example of it, an example of what it costs, and an example of what the Lord thinks about it. Jesus was going to Jerusalem, and the Bible says he steadfastly set his face to go to Jerusalem. And uh, this was in the context of the time when uh, the time was come that he, Jesus, should be received up. So God was about to, the Father was about to receive Jesus. Of course, much was going to happen uh, in subsequent days. And the Bible says in fifth, verse 52, uh, and sent, Jesus did messengers before his face, and they went and entered into a village of the Samaritans to make ready for him. And they did not receive him because his face was as though he would go to Jerusalem. You may well know that the Jewish people and the Samaritans at this time were at odds. Uh, the Samaritans went back to the days of the Assyrian captivity when uh, the Assyrians had repopulated Samaria with people from various countries and there had sprung up a mixed religion and a mixed race. And so there was prejudice from the Samaritans against the Jewish people and from the Jewish people to the Samaritans. And so because Jesus was very obviously headed to Jerusalem, there was a, a prejudice against that and against Jesus. He was God's uh, Messiah. He was born a, a Jewish uh, man. And so the Samaritans did not receive him. It's interesting because the Bible says about the time he was about to be received up, uh, that was God. God the Father received the Lord Jesus, but the Samaritans did not. Now, when we talk about prejudice, are we talking merely or only or, or singularly about a, a racial question? The answer is no. Prejudice is to be prejudicial or to prejudge. It, it is, in short, um, it, it, it's a judgment you make. We're going to talk about that in just a moment. But the whole passage here is about prejudice. First of all, of course, from the Samaritans towards the Lord Jesus. Uh, the Bible says that he, Jesus, came into uh, the world and the world knew him not. Uh, he, he made the world, but the world knew him not. He came into his own, even in Israel, and his own received him not. But, and, but to as many as did receive him, to them gave you power to become the sons or children of God, even to them that believe on his name. So even those who had a privileged relationship with Jesus as far as proximity and, and country and heritage and so on, Many of them reject Jesus. The Samaritans in this case did. But anyone, Jew or Gentile, who will come to God on God's terms by faith in Jesus Christ can have peace with God. So when we say prejudice here, it, it, it was a racial prejudice, but uh, it was a, the consequence of that was greater because Jesus is the one they were rejecting. Jesus is God's Son and God's salvation for all people anywhere, anytime. And so if my view of the world is based fundamentally on what time I find myself living in, the country I find myself living in, what is most politically expedient, then I'm behind. Uh, I, I cannot expect to be exactly where everyone else in the world is if I am thinking God's thoughts after him, if I'm thinking about things uh, because of the way God thinks about things. So these, uh, these, these Samaritans, they were prejudiced against the Lord Jesus because they were prejudiced against Jewish people. Now here's the thing, the Jewish people of the day, many of them were prejudiced against uh, the Samaritans. That is, they had made a judgment ahead of time against the Samaritans. They, they said to Jesus, we have well said you have a devil and you're a Samaritan. Both of those were um, jabs at Jesus. In the next chapter, Jesus talks about the good Samaritan. Uh, and that was in response to a question, a, a, a Jewish lawyer who was willing to justify himself and said, well, who is my neighbor? And Jesus used an example of someone that was neighborly who was someone that they would have disregarded, a Samaritan. So Jesus' own people, they, they had a judgment they'd made ahead of time about him and about the Samaritans. The, the Samaritans had made a judgment ahead of time uh, about the Jewish people, but most importantly about Jesus himself. The Bible says that God would receive him up, but the Samaritans, they would not receive him. So what's the, what's the bottom line of all this? The, the bottom line question for you today is, do you know what manner of spirit you have? Verse 55, or 54 rather, when the disciples, James and John, heard what was going on, they said, Lord, do you, should we call down fire from heaven just like Elijah did? Elijah had called fire down from heaven, and justifiably so, 
on Samaritans centuries before. That's a different story. But John and James remembered that story. And they said, you want us to call down fire from heaven on Jerusalem or on these Samaritans? And Jesus rebuked them and said, ye know not what manner of spirit ye are. Now, let me ask you a question. Do you know what manner of spirit you, you are? Is it of the day? Is it of the age? What have you judged before you know? Now, we can be prejudiced racially. We can be prejudiced about Jesus. We can be prejudiced about a lot of things. So what, what is prejudice? And what is fundamentally, what is it and what does it cost? Well, verse 56 says this. Jesus is speaking. For the Son of Man has not come to destroy men's lives, but to save them. Jewish lives, Gentile lives, your life and mine. And the lives of, of people you see every day. People that may be nothing like you. So what spirit animates you? Is it the spirit of the age? Is it the spirit of the geography that you occupy right now? Or is it the, is it the spirit of, of God himself? Um, Jesus said that he was come to save lives, to save people's lives. Uh, here's the bottom line. Prejudice is a judgment we reach before knowing and accepting God's purpose. Way back, Jesus had told the disciples that he was going to be crucified and rise again. And they, they pushed it aside. They said, this, this will not be. Uh, later in verse uh, 45, the Bible says they understood not. They, they didn't understand that Jesus was going to die and to suffer the sins of the whole world. And then in 50, verse 56, Jesus clarifies again, for, you, for the Son of Man has come not to destroy men's lives, but to save them. Friend, you cannot see the world as, as it should be. You can't see people as God sees them if you don't accept God's mind on the matters of the day. Prejudice is judgment you reach before knowing and accepting God's purpose. What is God's purpose? God's purpose is to save people just like you and people that are nothing like you.